Hello and welcome to episode 24 of the Project Hybrid Bike Build. Today we will be looking inside that engine and tarting a few things up. And we'll be going to pick up all our powder coated bits. Yes, Marvelous. they're ready. So let's get that done first. Have we got? Oh, we've had a quick sneak peek and I'm very impressed. So let's get it out and have a look. We've also got some new forks. I went online and I bought these. I had to pay 82 pounds for them, but the bottom halves are great. There's a few light scratches, but they will. we can rub these down before we spray them. Anyway, these are going to be black. These tops aren't brilliant, but the tops we had on the old forks are great. So we can replace those with these, or the other way around, replace these with those, um, put in the new seals and paint these up. So. That's what we're going to do. However, first, let's get the engine on the bench. To me, to me, to me, to me, to me. We have to do that now because obviously we can't do it to you, to me, because one of them's gone. Yeah. RIP and all that stuff. That's unfortunate. It is. Then it must have been getting on a bit. 70 something. Yeah. Well, that's not like getting on a bit, really, is it? 80 something. Right, we need to flip this upside down because we need to get that sump off. There's a crack in the sump, we need to investigate. So, off you go. <laughs> there, there's a crack that runs all the way down there like that. Now we need to see if it's actually cracked all the way through, or if it's been fixed on the inside, I'm not so sure. Oh, no. I don't really want to have to buy another one. Oh, the right one. You can see there, look, cracked all around there, yeah. down there, 
been hit. And down there. I think it has. There's also some light cracks here. Also can't decide if these are cracks or just joins. Well, come on look at these. I'll say one name on me. Clean it a bit. Hmm. They're a bit uniform, aren't they? I think uh, they want me to do with the moulding perhaps. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is just spray this with some carb cleaner um, to get rid of all the gunk. Because the last thing you want to do is take all this off and get bits inside the engine. Okay, so once most of the gunk is off, we have to undo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bolts to get this sump off. I'm guessing that's about a 10. 10. Mm. So the next stage is to undo the four screws in this tray and then we can take the tray out, obviously this gasket, we've got a new one because I bought a gasket kit so that's okay. Well upon further investigation it does seem like there's a crack around there but it isn't actually a crack, it looks like an an over mold like they've they've done the mold because it's layered it's like this bit is slightly more raised than this bit and there's no crack there at all on the inside it's like they've repaired their, the, the molding there's no thing. crack that corresponds there's like um, casting marks along but there's no crack that corresponds with those cracks on the outside so it looks like we're all good what about these ones here that's the same, that's just over mold. You can feel the, the yeah. jagged edge. It literally is like they've. It's like crack used, molding. They've used a mold so many times that it's got iffy bits, and then you're just, you're just seeing them iffy bits. Right. Because otherwise that's cracked all over, because <laughs> they're everywhere. Yeah. We're good to go. Thank God for that. Brucey. Absolutely. So we were having a debate as to whether we should replace all the gaskets and all the bearings and all the seals and everything. And Malcolm presents quite a good case, and that is... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. At the moment, there's no oil leaks, there's no issues, there's nothing that needs changing. And I understand that whilst the engine's out, you might as well just change everything. But, that's a lot of changing, and I don't know if it's necessary. It's clean in there, you know. It's... Yeah, I know. And at least I've got everything. So if it does break and I do get a leak, we've got it all to change. What are your thoughts on that? And I think this is going to be a camp divide where a lot of people might go, well, oh, like you say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And others go, well, if it's out, just change it. Do the job properly. I don't think it's a matter of doing the job properly. Sorry about that. Because it's a case of making work for yourself where it's not necessary. Exactly that. And then when it does go, or if it does go again, I've got to buy it all again. At least now I've got it in case I need it. Hmm. So I think that's what we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to change the the gasket on the sump. But other than that, like you said, I don't think we need to. We might end up using these exhaust seals. Yeah, I did get these collets come through, these exhaust collets. I bought some of these online. Um, I don't know if they're required. We'll, we'll know once we get the exhaust back in and we've got the new studs in as to whether it bolts up okay without them. I assume they have exhaust rings. They're also the same size as those. <laughs> I think they're exhaust. Okay. So, cheers. Clean. 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 And what did you use to clean it with? Uh, I cleaned the inside of that out with a rag and a screwdriver. And then a flat blade just to scrape off any gasket residue. Likewise on here. Obviously making sure none of it falls in the engine so that we've got a nice clean surface for our new gasket to seat onto 
We're not going to have anything weeping past the little bumps and lumps that you might leave behind if you don't clean it properly. So there you go. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on top of it. And we're going to bolt it down. So let's crack on. Marvellous. Okay, so one bolt in first. My arm's probably in the way, sorry. Through there. Through the gasket. No. No! Get there. Use the socket, that's the socket. Yeah. Buried under all these mountains of tissue. Seriously, £3.50 a roll for this tissue, you use it yeah. like bloody tissue paper. You can't use that stuff over and over again, you can't wipe your hands on that. Oh, honestly, you pay for it then. believe that there is nothing that mentions or even shows a picture of the sump in that book that you keep raving about. I know. Unbelievable. Okay. So there's Maybe nothing to do with torque ratings or anything like that. The nearest we could find was another M6 bolt on the crankcase is between five to eight pounds foot, yeah. which is like that. It's like nothing, is it? So <laughs> that book is not always great. In fact, it's not I, great. I get the feeling that they just refer to this as something other than a sump. Well, what else could it be? There's nothing in there that says oil pan. There's no sump. There's no oil cover. Nothing that mentions oil whatsoever. Nothing that mentions bottom end. Ridiculous! Yeah. So, with that now on, we can see that the engine is pretty much ready to go back in once I've painted it. That's going to come up in a future video very soon. I should be taking parts off and painting the engine and the wheels and the forks, which brings us neatly segued onto the forks. So let's change them over. So the first thing to do is to take off the arm of the caliper. So we'll undo these two bolts here and get rid of that and this um, disc cover as well. And then we shall take this apart. So this, of course, I will clean up. Uh, this needs to go back on to the new one because it didn't come with it. So I shall clean that up and paint that black separately, and then we'll put that on after they've been painted. This stud, however, does have to come out. So we'll just get a couple of nuts and wind that out. So the first thing first is take out the little retaining pin, like so. Keep hold of that, because we'll need that. Mm -hmm. Try tight fit in there. And then this should lever out. Pass it one side, one your face. please. So we have new seal. What you do, put a bit of oil around it just to smooth it up so it goes in quite nicely. And slot it in. It may require tapping in with a... With a we're supposed to use a drift, so a socket maybe, to guide it in the last 
because obviously it has to go down an extra few millimetres, doesn't it? It does. Is that a 32mm socket? Uh, yeah, why not? Close enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And then clip your ringy thingy. We you fit the clip. Feed it in and then it'll pop in when it's ready. Mind your eyes. Oh, so, job done. Okay, and now we just put in the shaft. And then put in the nut from the bottom, which yeah. screws into there. It's not quite in the right. I see no, is that centre in the right? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it maybe it wasn't, but okay. now it is. Right, okay. Oop, some more. Okay. Is that all the way down? Yep. So that nut should just bolt into that then. So the new forks are now together. We can't put the gators on yet because in the next episode of Motors for the Masses bike build video, we are going to repaint the forks, repaint the engine, and repaint the wheels. And they're going to be a satiny black. Hmm. So, um, in preparation for that, we need to get uh, an engine bolt dress-up kit. So basically a complete bolt kit, stainless steel bolts. And we need to get uh, black barbecue paint, because that's what we're going to use, because it's very high temperature. And an engine degreaser. And some stainless steel clips for the exhaust wrap. Because, in the video after that, we are going to be rebuilding. <laughs> it's coming together! Mm. So, we're just until... waiting all them painted bits to uh, be done. And then... Oh yeah, and we've also got to pick up the tank and the mud guard and the side panels. So they're coming as well. Oh, we also have to make the number plate um, oh, thing. Like backing thing. The, um, the, the white oval for the numbers. Oh, that, yeah. Yes, on the side. So we and, have to make that as bracket. well. And the number plate bracket. Yeah. So there's still plenty of things to do, but we're in the rebuilding phase now. So it's all good. In the next episode, we're hopefully getting a massive haul of Mustang parts. So we should be doing that one in our next video, all being well. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of stuff coming in, so please tune in for that, because it's the engine, gearbox, suspension, all brand new. Oh, I can't wait for that. However, also stay tuned, because coming up, we have what? What do we have? We have the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Yes, we are on 10,000 subscribers now, so thank you so much to thank you for that. So coming up is our 10,000 subscriber giveaway video in the next couple of days. Hmm. We're literally 20 subs off, so yeah, come on. Just keep your eyes open. That'll if you're watching this for the first time, thing. click subscribe, please. Hmm. So we've got some fantastic prizes coming for that. So stay tuned for that one. And also, we have our logo competition, which That's we've now closed. Minute, it, yeah. Yes, however, because of the amount of entries we've got, it's gonna take us a couple of days to go through and make a proper decision. So really, you've still got about two days to put in some more entries if need be. If not, then you'll lose out. And until next time, please ride and drive carefully. But have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.